All right, go ahead and tell everybody your name. Eric Pratt. Stacy Pratt. Okay, and what are your guys' your roles, your vocation in life? Uh, I'm a communications director for a lobby organization based right outside of Washington, D.C., and a uh, husband and father. And I am a mother of 11 children and a wife and also a teacher. Okay. How long have you guys been married, and are all 11 children yours, or did you adopt those? Sure. Uh, yeah, all uh, 11 children. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been married for 23 years, and uh, they are all ours. Uh, no set of twins, <laughs> uh, just one by one. Yes. Um, okay. What are you guys doing at the Honor Academy today? Well, I'm here speaking to uh, the interns about God and government and have, uh, the biblical principles uh, what is the authority of what uh, civil government should be? So we've had uh, some uh, some good discussions in uh, in the sessions. I, I think it's been uh, real enjoyable on both sides. Mm -hmm. How many children do you currently have at the Honor Academy? Right now we have two. You have two. Okay. When your uh, when your sons decided to come to the Honor Academy, what was your response as parents? Uh, we were ecstatic. Uh, actually, I think we probably approached him, our, our oldest son, first about it. Uh, and, you know, he, he thought about it, but then I think it was especially after going to the one in Baltimore, the, the, the Acquire the Fire mm -hmm. in Baltimore, he picked up some information on it, and at that point uh, really seriously started thinking about uh, mm -hmm. doing it, and then ev eventually did come. Okay, so your sons now have been at the Honor Academy, one for a few months, the other one for over a year. For parents that are watching this, what would you say to parents that their son or daughter are thinking about coming to the Honor Academy? What have you seen change in your son's life being here at the HA? Oh my goodness, um, it's life transforming. I would say um, it. You know, when people ask me what is the Honor Academy, I tell them it is a year pursuit of passionately going after God and allowing Him to just embrace you and and loving other people. What we've seen in our kids is a passion for the Lord, a passion for the nations. Um, we've seen them really come to an understanding of their calling and wanting to find their calling if they're not sure of what they want to do and put into practice the principles that they're learning here. Um, they've become much more focused in their relationship with the Lord. They are passionately pursuing the Lord. Um, the love for Him, the love for others, the respect for us um, has grown um, just in the year, just in the month that our son was here, um, our second son got sent home. So um, that was in of itself a whole nother experience when you send a son here, but he got sent home um, because his heart hadn't changed. The circumstances had, but his heart hadn't. But even in that month that he was here, when he came home, people saw he is a different young man, even though he'd been sent home. But he came back to the Honor Academy um, in January, and just to see the difference. He knows now that it's not as his circumstances, but that it's his heart, and he has a different heart, a heart that is toward the Lord, a heart that's toward others, and a heart and a passion for the ministry. And so for us, our hope and our prayer is that all of our children, our, our oldest is married now, but um, the rest of them, God willing, will come through the Honor Academy before they pursue college or vocation so that they will have that year of passionately pursuing Christ and, and, and just partaking and getting filled up from the Honor Academy. Well, so you guys are hoping the, I guess the next seven of your children come to the Honor Academy. Now, you mentioned that your one son, he was sent home yes. a few months ago. How did you guys handle it as parents? How did you handle that when he came home? How did the Honor Academy help you guys with that, of him coming back home, and then him wanting to come back mm -hmm. in January? Well, the Honor Academy was awesome uh, through this whole process. Uh, it was uh, it was heartbreaking. It really was. And, and, you know, let's face it, he was doing things he shouldn't have done. Um, and so, uh, you know, we certainly uh, understood uh, what was happening, why it was happening, and uh, his testimony is, I really needed that because uh, it, it, it was finally the Lord getting a hold of him, that, mm -hmm. that his life really does have to change. You can't just say you're a Christian and then still keep playing over on, on the dark side of the fence. And so it, it really did got, get his attention because he really did want to be here. 
And uh, I, I'm telling you, when, when he came back, he would, the Lord just started giving him a vision for uh, what the Lord has for him to do. And he was so used uh, in the time that, that he was at our house uh, to minister to people. It, it was, I mean, so even then, it was just, an, you know, uh, it, it started, you know, it started off with a, um, you know, it's, it's a shame to have you here for the reasons that, that you're here. But wow, what a blessing. Uh, you know, God uses all things together for good for those who love him. And he did in this case. And now he comes back and, and every report we've heard from people who know him, uh, they're saying things like he is a totally different guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and praise God. I mean, you know, the Lord used that in his life to, to really, uh, really grab a hold of his heart and, and have him start uh, walking in the light. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming down and speaking to our interns today. And um, God bless you. Looking forward to the rest of your children coming to the HA one day. Amen. Get ready. All right. <laughs>